Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Chen, retired chief executive officer of the University of Maryland Medical Center. I'm also a professor of medicine at the University of Maryland School of Medicine and at the School of Public Policy in College Park. This book, The Future of Medicine, Megatrends in Healthcare, goes through the major issues that are occurring in healthcare out for the next five to 15 years. What will the megatrends be? Well, here's what we can expect. We can expect custom tailored medicine, personalized medicine, if you will. We can expect much more preventive medicine and certainly our ability to repair, to restore, and to replace organs, tissues, and cells will advance really rapidly. Our medical records will finally be digitized and available instantly no matter where we are, and quality and safety will be much improved. Why will this occur? Well, it's because of advances in basic science, engineering science, and computer science. In regard to basic science, it's areas such as genomics, opening up a whole new era in medical practice, or stem cells, a promise for the future. Immunology is helping us to develop new vaccines and improving transplantation, and new pharmaceuticals, which are much more targeted and more effective. And then from computer science and engineering science, we're developing new devices, which are frequently very small, but very powerful and very long-lived. New approaches to imaging so that we can peer inside the body and not only see anatomy, but see function. New devices to use in the operating room, which make surgery less invasive, but more effective, and to make our medical records instantly available. So let's go inside both the medical school and the hospital and take a deeper look at these changes. We're here in a basic science laboratory where I can talk to you about genomics, stem cells, and vaccines. Genomics is a whole new revolution in medicine. It is changing medicine dramatically and for the better. First, there's pharmacogenomics. That's the science of understanding how to target a specific area in the cell with a new drug. This will make the drug much more effective and much safer. And then from a physician's perspective, prescribing a drug, knowing that the person I prescribed a specific drug for will in fact respond and will not have a side effect. And then, very important is the ability to predict. Predict a disease that might occur 20 or 30 years later, like heart disease or cancer or diabetes. And knowing that for that individual person, being able to intervene with a prevention technique to prevent that disease from occurring even though we know that person is really susceptible to it. And then there's new diagnosis. The ability, for example, with infection, to be able to know in just an hour, maybe an hour and a half, that a particular infection is caused by a specific bacteria or virus or fungi, and that it is resistant or not to our commonly used antibiotics. So these are some of the advances that will come from genomics. One of the ones I think is most important is that physicians today spend so much time diagnosing a disease and then determining a treatment. Big paradigm change here is that in the future, we'll spend much more time predicting a disease and then working on a preventive technique so that, that disease will not occur. The stem cells, well, they're still a promise out to the future. We have so much more to learn about them, but once we have, it's going to make a huge difference. It will have a fundamental impact on medical care in the future. We'll see things like diabetes being treated, Parkinson's being treated, a number of other diseases, perhaps even putting cells into the heart to take the place of those that have been damaged by a heart attack. And with vaccines, well, we're going to see less shots and more use of aerosols and nasal sprays. That's going to be a help new adjuvants that will mean just one dose rather than multiple doses, and lots of diseases for which we don't have good vaccines today in infections, such as malaria and Ebola, loss of fever. But most important of all, vaccines for chronic diseases, diseases like atherosclerosis, like cancer, like Alzheimer's disease, maybe even for drug addiction. These are some of the things coming in the area of vaccinology 
and it's really quite exciting. So five to 10 years from now, medicine is going to be much improved from what we know today. Now, let's go into the hospital and see how some of the advances in computer science and engineering science are advancing medicine as well. We're here in the University of Maryland, Marlene and Stuart Greenbaum Cancer Center, where I'm gonna to talk to you about the changes that have occurred as a result of engineering advances and computer science advances, and how they're having an impact on the future of medicine. Let's start with devices. You know about things like pacemakers. Implanted under the skin, they run a, a wire to the heart, and it keeps the heart beating at a steady and regular rate. And then there are new machines they can run a wire up to the vagus nerve in the neck and through that send an impulse to the brain. And that impulse can help reduce seizures or even improve depression for people who can't respond well to drug therapy. And then there's imaging. The new forms of imaging take exquisite, exquisite anatomic pictures of our internal anatomy and they do it all non-invasively. And better yet, we now have new forms of imaging, I won't call them x-rays, but imaging that allows us to actually see the function of cells in the body. This, for example, can tell us if a esophageal cancer, for example, has spread to another location and it can be seen on a PET scan or a similar device. And these types of devices will be advancing really spectacularly over the next five to 15 years and give us much, much more information. Then there's the operating room. New techniques in the operating room are going to allow for less and less invasive surgery, more effective surgery, and we'll be able to use simulators for students, residents, and even master surgeons to practice, because practice makes perfect, and better to practice on a machine than on a patient. Robots will be used as well. A robot never gets tired, doesn't mind bending over the operating table for a long period of time, it can be designed in such a way for what are called no-fly zones. If we don't want to hit a spot over here, no matter how the surgeon controls the robot, it won't hit that spot. So it will add safety and quality to the surgical procedure. And then lastly, computer science is helping us to develop really fast, well-digitized medical records so that in the not-too-distant future, although I think it really may take another 10 years, we'll have instantaneously available medical records on all of our information, no matter where we are. We can fly to another country, it'll always be available. So these are some of the advances that are coming as a result of these incredible changes in computer science and engineering science intersecting with medical care. So let's recap what we've learned this morning. There are significant megatrends occurring in medicine and these will affect the future of medicine out for the next five to 15 years. What we're gonna see, we're gonna see much more custom tailored medicine designed for you and for me. We're gonna see much more preventive medicine. Our ability to repair, restore, and replace organs, tissues, and cells will advance very rapidly. Our medical records will be digitized and instantly available. And best of all, patient quality, patient safety, and the quality of care will go up dramatically. That's the future. It's very exciting.